All right, so scientists, some, are sounding the alarm on a so-called solar superstorm that could, and this is important, underline the word could, eventually wipe out the internet for weeks or even months. The sun is entering a more active time where it tends to flare more often. After those flares, large blobs, for lack of a better word, of plasma enter space and can distort the Earth's magnetic field, the power grid, satellites, navigation, and GPS systems, and communications equipment are all vulnerable. Shalom. First and foremost, I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Holy Father, the one who calls God. In his name, Hebrew means he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten Son, who the one who calls Jesus Christ. In his name, Hebrew means he delivers. By Hashem is in the name, and Kalkwadash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of the well. Peace and blessings unto the sister Let's push forward to the truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, I want to say shalom unto your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that's looking like the other nations that show up with you. I want to say shalom unto your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dewey from Jimmy Slime, St. Louis Camp. I'm going to come back at another video. And I'm not going to make this too long. All right. Let's get straight to the point. And I'm going uh, to entitle this The Sun is About to Destroy the Internet. Or really, it's these solar storms. Okay. Which is, you know, a solar storm comes from. The sun, like the radiation waves that the sun emits, all right? But without further ado, I'm going to pull some precepts, Lord, to be edifying. So this is Second Corinthians 2 and 11, and it reads, Least Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices, right? So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, and who is the physical manifestation of Satan? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, and he's trying to bring his new world order. Okay, and this is just another way that he's going to do it. Okay, by saying, yeah, the internet is off and and which when they come back on, of course, it's going to come back on. He's going to introduce you to a whole new system. Okay, because they're trying to get this thing rolling because we're about to go into 2024 and it says about 2025 that all this stuff is going to happen okay now with that being said this thing can pop off at any day all right so yeah any day now this can um this can happen you know but what the scripture says it says well we got to measure the time diligently all right so yeah, we basically get on the count now and how much me i started letting us know basically like uh, an estimate, a rough estimate about how much time that we got, all right, which no man know at the day or the hour, save only the Father. But the Lord is allowing us to, you know, get like a sneak peek of what's about to get ready to happen, all right, because it's about to get gruesome out here. So you yeah, Amos 8 and 11. So Amos 8 and 11, and it reads... Behold, the days come, said the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, right? So, in which the Lord is going to send a famine of thirst and bread and water. But the main famine is going to be hearing his word, okay? And that's the only reason why this place is still intact, right? But it's falling is uh, the elect is over here, all right? And the men of the Lord are on the highways and byways preaching before everything happens. Okay, because it's prophesied that the men of the Lord have to preach. All right. The downfall of this place before the destruction happened to warn everybody what's about to get ready to go down. Because, man, it's about to get gruesome out here. Gruesome. Man, you people are not going to be ready. All right, for the hell and calamities 
This is about to get ready to touch America because uh, you Americans are spoiled. You Americans are very, very spoiled, entitled, bougie. Okay, yeah, overconfident. All right. Um, uh, so second, Second Timothy the third chapter, men is lovers of their own self. Okay, so kind. Of, See so Jeremiah thirty and seven. It's Jeremiah thirty and seven and it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right. So said alas for that day is great, so that none is like it. All right, so Jacob's trouble, okay? And that's what we've been prophesied. So, like, everybody, if you a Jake, an Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you're going to get tried, regardless if you're in the truth or not, okay? Because the only people that's going to make it is who? The elect. Okay, yeah, everybody else think that they can eat pork. Yeah, I'm, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, brother. Covered by the blood of Jesus. The Lord made all food clean. All you got to do is pray over it. No. All right. You can put tattoos on your body. Like, just as long as it's just Bible scriptures, you know, Philippians 4, 13. You know, I can do all things through Christ. It strengthens me now. All right. You're going off. Okay. It don't matter what color Jesus is. You know, the man's name is not Jesus. All right. And that's why the Lord put his name and the elect, so that way the elect can know what name to call upon, because that's how you know somebody is call upon their name. You know, you can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, old boy. That's hella disrespectful. You know, you're calling somebody, you know, like a Jake that you don't know. You know, oh, yeah, man, man, he cool, but I don't know his name. You know, I imagine if he knew that, you know, he'd feel disrespected. Okay, and it's the same way with you uh, niggas that say that you can call the name of the Lord anything you want. And it don't work like that. All right, the Lord, he don't revolve around you. You know, everything revolves around him. All right. What else did I have? Uh, so... Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time, and now it is high time to wake out of sleep. But now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, right? So it's high time to wake out of sleep. So the Lord, he putting the finishing touches on his elect. Okay. Uh, you know, grooming us so we can go through this tribulation in hell. So ultimately, we can come out purified. All right, perfect on the other side. You know, how was shy he had to go through his uh, hour of temptation, his trial, and so do we. You know, we're going to be presented with the MOTB. We're going to be presented with uh, riches. You know, like, who would say that you're going to get tortured? You know, I always say that, you know, because that's a, another way how Esau Edom can come towards you to tempt you to, to go against your power. You know, he can offer many gifts, you know, and he's done it before. You know, Antiochus Epiphanes, you know, when he killed the seventh son. Okay. And he was even um, talking to his mom, his uh, his his mother and uh, telling his mother to persuade her son. Hey, hey tell your son to, to to eat this pork. Okay. Um, so yeah, and Kanye, the same devil that was back then, same devil that we dealing with now. How did the devil get to us? He get to us through our mothers. He get to us through our women, you know, uh, the women of our nation. The Israelite woman, whether she gave birth to us or, or, uh, if we land down with her, okay? Our so-called wife, maybe your daughter to get to you. 
All right. But nonetheless, you know, Esau Edom he used that damn woman, man. Because that woman is a pawn in his hand. But that woman, she showed faith. The woman. All right. But I'm going to end it off with this little woman. So Revelation 6 and 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four be saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering to conquer. Right? So who is that? All right. So the Lamb is Yahweh Shai. All right? And he about to go forward to conquer. All right. Verse 3. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. All right. So that red horse represents Esau Edom. All right. Uh, so he had a great sword because the wicked Esau Edom, he is the sword of the Heavenly Father. You know, he's the 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 wrath of the Heavenly Father and a race of people, you know, because they, these Edomites, they do all type of wicked and heinous crimes. All right. Verse five, when he had opened the third seal, he heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard the, a voice in the midst of the four be say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Right? So that represents the famine. Okay? Because, um, you know, hyperinflation. So yeah, prices is steady going up. Okay, verse 7. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked and behold, a pale horse. And his name that set, up, that set on him was Death. And hell followed him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword. And with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth, right? So, yeah, so death going to come in all forms, okay? Like it just said, so famine, the sword, okay? Um, hunger, right? So, uh, yeah, the beast of the earth, all right? And the beast you ain't seen before. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altars of souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, this thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes was given every unto every one of them, and it was said unto them, that they should rest for a little season unto their fellow servants, also in the brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Then, when I had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became his blood, right? So you'll be seeing all these blood moons and the solar eclipse. That's the only way how the sun can get black. It's a solar eclipse. All right? And the stars of heaven fell into the earth. Even as the fig casted her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it's rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their place, right? So yeah, heaven departed. So they represent what? That mushroom cloud. That's about to get ready and hit, you know. It's going to be multiple mushroom clouds. All right? And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men. And every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. For the, the great 
for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? Right, so yeah, those elites, when you always start crack those clouds and those calamities come, they're going to be in their bunkers hiding. Okay? And they're going to pray that those uh, bunkers and ceilings and the facility, the underground facilities that they built underground, okay, just fall on them and crush them and kill them instantly. But nah, like you elite, you're going to go f head first into slavery. You know, and it's going to be a bad time to be an Edomite in that day. Okay, and the Lord going to take y'all all out in just an instant. One hour. All right. So with that, I want to say shalom.